I was really lucky in that Guardians, um, very strange history. Like uh, it, it started technically founded 2012, but we started in 2013 as a sound sport. Um, and I think at this point, we're at least the first one, if not the probably the most successful sound sport to open class transfer so far. Yeah. The guy that started it was 19, Jonathan Dare. Wow. And, and I mean, you know, and that's like, it's first of all, it's crazy that he got us to where we are, like in that in that you know way. But like he, I, I can't imagine it's very easy to deal with other people because I mean, if you if I was to be told right now there's a drum corps being started with a 19 year old, like first thought, oh gosh, it's not gonna happen. Oh my gosh, like don't give that person your money. That is going away forever, you right. know. But like. It, it, he he made something out of nothing, you know. Like um, you know, first year we, we were watching some videos the other day, and it's just like um, the, the experiences that they've been providing from the very beginning are like invaluable. Like we have incredible alumni: um, Zach Santos at Vista Ridge, mm -hmm. original charter member; Mikey Sheeran at Westwood High School, um, you know, charter member. Um, we we I think man, there's at least ten kids right now marching Vanguard. At least ten, probably marching Blue Coats. Like right. they're all over the activity, you know, and. I think it's it's a testament to you know the culture at Guardians, which is we're here to make the kids better, and we're here to provide them the best experience. And they provide themselves a great experience by cultivating this like family atmosphere, which I know everyone says they have, and I and I believe that it is everywhere. But like, if you ask any of those kids what's their favorite part, favorite part about Guardians, like there's a very common story, and it ha it goes something like, I walked in for auditions. Uh, I like signed up, I walked into like the sleeping area and like there was a bunch of people just sitting in groups and then they were like, what do you play? And then, you know, he said, it's like Melophone right. and the Melophone's like, whoa, come over here. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> right. um, it, it's like they have like just such a positive like outlook and um, I think we're starting to finally take that turn to into like the whole competitive, like right. uh, we're rehearsing a lot, we're doing crazy things, but um, you know, trying to determine like what's best for a drum corps now like based off of, you know, just your experiences becomes um, problematic too, just because there are bad things that you've experienced. You may not even know it, right? Like, I think I got lucky at Vanguard because we had such a large amount of staff turnover that it was almost like I got to march a whole bunch of different groups with the same exact background story. Yeah, so right. I had like four different brass caption heads in five years. Right. So, I mean, I got like so many different educations and so many different ed the teaching styles and, I got to pull from all of that. And visually speaking, you know, we started as, um, when I first started, it was, I don't wanna say more hardcore, but it was a lot more strict, you right. know, it was more difficult physically. Like it was a lot more like, kind of like beating it into you a little bit, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't wanna like, you know, simplify it to that. Obviously there was other things, but it was much more physically difficult than when the next staff came in. And it was a lot more about like the 10 minute breaks and like, you know, we walked sometimes, which was weird for us. Right. Like, um, yeah, well, and also, I mean, Thinking about thinking about a core like Vanguard, there's so much history and right. culture and excellence, winning championships in the early days of Drum Corps International. That's all there when you show up on day one. You're oh, talking yeah. about it's there every day at Vanguard. Yeah, you know, like, and, and there's an expectation that is you, you don't need to talk about it. They yeah. you know that going in. You've shown right. up for a reason and that's there. And even yes. in the Vanguard of today, which is this like hybridized version of of the old Cavalier staff and all these different teams that have come together, you know, some of the old Phantom Regiment staff, but Vanguard's Vanguard, you know what I mean? And like, that's that, and yeah. they, and there's an expectation versus you're talking about a drum corps um, in terms of Guardians, you're talking about a drum corps that is founded in the last, I guess, 10 years, right? Yeah, yeah. And just, I mean, I, I stopped marching before that, right? That right. Drum corps didn't even exist when right. I was around and I'm like, proverbially in this activity young and it's like you can't invent a culture it's gonna happen through time it's gonna happen through the commitment of the people there and it's apples and oranges vanguard is so i, I don't know the year they were like founded founded but i mean over 40 years old you, what? 67 yeah you should, 67 yeah um 2012 67 i mean yeah. imagine being born in 67 being ver this thing has totally changed so it's like yeah. even in open class there's like you know some that have been around for a while and that's and that's the cra it's hard to it's hard to take a step back and remember that sometimes you know like i like we were i was joking earlier about how like you know i'm here to win a world championship well right. like well sometimes like you know i sit there and i'm like this is what needs to be happening right now and it's just not what's going to happen right, right now 
you know, like. Well, it takes time. It yeah. takes time to, to have the culture of the group get to the point that you want it to get to. There's no simplifying that process. And you can't just become the Blue Devils in a, in a night. You know what I mean? Because they have, one, they're located in a place that allows them to do certain things other groups can't do. Sure. Whether from a membership, from a financial standpoint, sure. you name it. But they also have the history of success. They also have, because of that, the name brand. They also have B and C cores that are filtering into the, I mean, it's like you name it. And it's it's not an advantage. It's the organization has committed to itself. The mm. Adelos, the people surrounding that drum corps have, have made their lives about th that drum corps. And to say that a drum corps like that doesn't deserve its success, it would be reducing it down to what you see in the right column at finals when it's always a one. Mm. It's like, do you know why it's a one? Because 50 years ago, someone was like, I'm going to kind of plant my stake and and I'm hoping this is going to grow and show up later. And like it has, you know what I mean? So right. it's like in 10 years when you're still a director, you're like, remember when I started this and I was saying, I'm we're going to win a world championship. <laughs> Here we are. And maybe not 10 years, maybe less. Yeah. Like, so I, or I'm, maybe more, you know, like we don't know. Yeah, it's we all good. Know. But but the fact that you have a vision for where you want it to head, the fact that you have a concept in your mind of how you want the staff to feel about their experience, about how they they deserve their own, uh, you know, autonomous kind of area that you don't want to infringe on that. That is going to become something, whether it's down the road, whether it's next year, it doesn't matter. We don't know. It's impossible to know. But the fact that you as the person kind of at the top have some vision, it doesn't matter what the vision is. It's that you want to make that culture stronger, I yeah. think it's gonna matter. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I do believe it's going to. And we try, we're definitely trying to bring a much different look to um, like what what we bring to the table at Guardians. I mean, just lots of things. Like one, I, we've kind of been bringing that hip hop-ish vibe for a little while. Um, we didn't kind of took a break from that last year, but you know, we will have some, we will have a hip hop element this year. I mean, that's got, that became really popular, like probably around 2018, like Babylon, like that was just nuts, right? right. But I mean, we, we, when I came in, one of the things that we first did is I, I sat there and I was like, well, what, visually speaking, there is no, there's no like, you know, identity or really any, we didn't really have an identity yet right. in terms of the show design or anything like that. And it was like, okay, well, what, what can I do to make this different? And the first thing I was, was like, okay, well, Dude, let's do some sort of alternative kind of dance like you know um and then it just we just arrived on like the whole hip-hop thing and um we started doing a lot of that and the kids like really enjoyed it and it was something that I, at first like a lot of them were like oh my gosh like we get a lot of country kids at guardians um and so they come in right. here and they're like you know what is this music right now um but like after a while like they, they like really bought in you know and um like things like that we're, we're trying to like you know find out what the membership likes and then we just try to like stick with it you know um and let it happen kind of organically i guess right um i think you know providing students like a new experience that they may not have otherwise been able to have is like probably the best thing that we can do especially in terms of trying to stand out amongst the crowd you know it's a crowd right. it's crowded out there for recruitment like <laughs> right. i mean you know even especially being in texas like it's it's a you'd think it was a gift we have all these people but the problem is you know every drum corps has an audition here now pretty right. much and in some of them they're extended you know they're right. months long so i mean finding finding the members it definitely comes down to um you know if we're if we're going to be in the realm that we're in right now it's all about trying to create the best experience that we can so that they can be successful and just have a good time you know just that holistic positive experience yeah. For everyone involved. Absolutely. Well, I think we've reached our time and I'm just thrilled to have heard about kind of just your insight into what you do and like what your thoughts are on, on kind of being at the top of a drum corps. I think it's immensely important that people think about how open class runs and just the similarity similarities and differences and and that open class in my mind, it's thriving. It's only getting better. The, the standards are higher than ever. And I think you're an awesome representative of, of where we're headed with the open class cool. scene. So appreciate it, man. I appreciate you coming out. And, yeah, thank and you. Just chatting with me today. So this has been episode two. Thank you for watching, listening, and checking it out.